Hi, it's Amy Keast at amykeast.com, and today I wanted to talk to you about losing weight and how that impacts our health care. Recently, I saw a news clip that stated that the UK was, was going to start paying people for losing weight. They were calling it a pound for a pound. Anyway, they credit the U.S. to giving them that idea. And I found that interesting. I don't think that um, right now we have anything in place where that's going on. But I have seen incentive plans where companies, you know, try to get their employees to lose weight, things like that. So maybe that's where, where the basis came from. But for me, that raised a lot of questions. Well, I totally get it. I understand why why the government or even an employer would want to to uh, get a person to lose weight because people that are overweight have a tendency to have other health care issues and that weight issue is something that they can control. So if it's um, your risk of say having diabetes would be diminished or if you were like in a target weight zone. So I get it. I understand that that part of it. The problem I have with that is, okay, so the people that, let's just say this is a government-funded plan, the people that are um, paying for this probably are going to pay for that through taxes, I'm, I'm assuming, or some type of funded pro project. But so the people that are in their normal weight zone, so they're going to contribute to that and then the people that are overweight obviously they're going to contribute to it but they should because they're they're the problem to begin with but then what happens if if the person gains the weight back so are they is it a one-time thing do they get to keep doing it goes back and forth I just think it it raises a lot of questions and why is a person that is healthy having to um, to take part in that and in our society in in our government, or in our healthcare um, practice, what happens? You have a group of individuals in in a pool, and if you're you have a lot of claims, your healthcare costs go up. So the people that are causing those healthcare costs to go up are passing those costs on to the people that work with them, whether they intend to or not. So it doesn't really seem fair that the people that aren't causing the problems are having to pay for it. We're already seeing this type of uh, program go on with, um, say, people that smoke. Employers are now passing the cost of those premiums on to their employees because they choose to smoke. So say that you're a smoker and um, you know you have health care insurance. You're, the cost of your health care, statistically speaking, is going to be greater because you are a smoker. We know that because of all the health-related re risks of people that smoke. So I think that we could extrapolate that onto people that are overweight. If they choose to be overweight, um, why aren't they paying higher premiums? Because we know that their health care costs, their health care dollars are going to be more expensive. So it's just another way of looking at that. I'm not really sure why the people that choose to have a lifestyle of being overweight are being rewarded for losing weight. And you know they're not going to keep it off. So unless someone is has a reason not to be overweight, I don't really feel like there's any incentive to, to lose weight. Okay, sorry, I didn't really want to ruffle anybody's feathers about being overweight. I know it's a huge taboo, but seriously, people, if we want our system to change, we are going to have to change, and it's going to have to start with us. And so um, everybody just needs to take a hard look at themselves, and, you know, prevention is way better than being sick and then trying to get it back. So that's something you can do for yourself right now is just get on the track to being well. See you next time. Stop by amykeese.com to schedule your session or download her latest meditation.